Hi, I'm back again with another lumber mill devlog. Since last week, I've added a new machine called the CNC to the game, which will work with another machine I'll be adding soon to make up the game's crafting system. It has its own interface, which I mocked up on paper first, as usual. This was the mock-up I ended up with. With that, I got to work on making the interface in Unity. The idea for this machine comes from Juna on Discord. It takes planks and lumber as input and cuts out parts to be assembled into different objects which the player can sell. At the moment, this is really just basic stuff like furniture, but if there are any cool things you'd like to be able to craft in the game, let me know in the comments. The interface is a sort of crafting menu, where the player can select a thing to create and the machine will output that thing if the ingredients are correct. Creating recipes for the machine is pretty simple. It's pretty much just a form I fill out in Unity to create the recipe object. To test the machine, I created a template in Sprite, just indicating the direction the object should move, and where conveyors should attach to it. Next up, I had to create the control panel. This will allow the player to see important information and simple controls for the machine, and the option to open up the CNC menu. I'm pretty used to setting these up now, so that was simple to get working, which you can see here. With most of the basic stuff set up and having coded the interface, all that was left before testing could begin was to add the recipes to the machine. When I began testing, I discovered that although the recipes were appearing, they couldn't be selected. It turns out I somehow forgot to add selection code, which was fixed, unsurprisingly, by adding it. And this was the final result. It's all pretty basic at the moment, and you'll notice that the right-hand section isn't populated at all. So I began work on the code that will populate that area. That worked on first impression, but after clicking a few recipes in a row, a problem with that became apparent. It turned out the loop which was used to clear the ingredients each time a new recipe was clicked was clearing all but the first item, and this is what it looked like after I recolored everything yellow. Ignore the grayscale sprites for now, as of recording this voiceover, that's been changed to display coloured sprites. With those steps all finished, next I needed to test the machine itself, and of course, more bugs started appearing. Despite the machine seeming to work correctly, the progress bars used to display ingredients were overflowing. I checked and double checked all the settings in Unity to see if they were compatible with my progress bar code, which they seemed to be and eventually just decided to replace the progress bar with another, which strangely seemed to fix that problem. So this was the result of that, the progress bar fills as objects enter the machine. The CNC machine will generally only take a single item as an ingredient though. The progress bars are really for the next machine I'll be adding, the assembler, which takes items from the CNC and puts them together. Right, so once the coding stuff was all done, I looked up CNC machines on Google Images to do some research for the drawing. Based on that, I created a rough paper design before going to Aspray and drawing the machine. The basic idea is there's a router on the top of the machine which moves back and forth when items are created, and the buttons on the side represent the controls. With the drawing complete, I then went through and animated each rotation of the machine. Thankfully, it's a pretty simple animation to make. I imported that as a sprite sheet into Unity, sliced it and set it up in the machine. Finally, I added an animation trigger in the code, which is used whenever an item is completed. And at last, I finished the CNC machine. This was the result. As I announced last week, the game is now up on Steam. If you haven't already, make sure to add it to your wishlist so you can play the game when it's out. That's all for this week. If you liked the video, do subscribe, and I shall see you next time. Cheers for watching.